Goose Chase is a website that allows you to put together a scavenger hunt that's run through an iOS or Android cell phone. This could be a fantastic piece of to professional development with your staff. I had put together a game that I invited anybody who was interested to come and try. It was called Getting Techie. And as the person who created the scavenger hunt, I gave it a name, I gave the game a description, and I set up missions. Each mission can have a photo or a video to complete the mission to receive points answer with a text entry, or even make a GPS check-in. Goose Chase does have its own mission bank, but I believe that you're going to get more out of these missions by creating them yourself. So for instance, I asked teachers to create a bulletin board that was used for technology and take a photo of that for 400 points. The easier the mission was, the less points I gave it, I ask them to type in the name of their favorite tech tool that helps them in any way. Take a photo of a principal using technology. Take a photo of a bulletin board or classroom display from a non-technology teacher. Show what the computer lab looked like. That I started increasing to 500 points. Then, a little harder still was having students do a poll using polling software, so take a photo of the polling software screen and results, take a photo over the heads of students using technology in the classroom, two teachers learning something new, and then the big points were to actually check into the Archdiocese Center when they came for a tech workshop have a student take 10 second video of the teacher introducing a lesson to the class and finally three teachers using technology at school. The reason that I like it as an idea for professional development is that as the teachers are making their submissions they're going to see it in the cell phone. So here are some creative bulletin boards. Now. I had suggested in the workshop that if you create a goose chase, you should keep it private. I had mine open to the world, and I had a stranger come into the, to the goose chase which, uh, with us, which was fine. Interestingly, the person was a Catholic school teacher, so this was her bulletin board, a bulletin board that was at a teacher in Jersey City, another bulletin board from up in Montclair, and then we have a bulletin board from a teacher in Creskill. Finally, a bulletin board from a teacher in Westfield. As you create these missions and teachers go around the school looking for evidence of completing the missions, they're going to get a chance to take a look at what's going on in other classrooms. I think that can be very powerful because a lot of times teachers may get to see what's going on in classrooms next to them but may not necessarily know what's going on with teachers on the other side of the building or on another floor. If a teacher is asked to try a tech tool, they could be asked to make a submission of the students using that tech tool. So here's a student using ABC, and we have some other students. It looks like they're working on some fraction problems, probably doing a screencast, and again, another student using an iPad. As the teachers who were working on this are taking their photos and completing the missions, it also builds a leaderboard. The teachers can see how they're doing point-wise, in one case, this teacher, ALH2230, explained to the students what she was doing, and the students got really excited about it. They were fourth graders. They would take her cell phone, and when they would see evidence of something the teacher needed for the mission, they would borrow the cell phone and take the picture. She's thinking about using this as an option for a class trip. There are no terms of service that say a student needs to be 13 or older, but I would not necessarily 
use this with students. I don't know what kind of missions they may fall into that are open missions around the world, but certainly to have the Goose Chase app with missions on a cell phone before a class trip, and then the teacher could tell students, as you find different things, you can come to me, borrow my phone, and take a photo, do a GPS check-in or whatever. So Goose Chase could be a very interesting way to get your teachers to share what's going on in their classroom.